Today I've got this little Zytel composite knife that I've had for quite a while. The problem is, it doesn't have a sheath. It's time to rectify that. So my basic idea here is to create an arm sheath for this composite knife. And to do that, I've already gone out and cut this piece of leather and made kind of like a bracer style outline. So that's going to be the basic design. That'll be along the wrist, that'll be along the forearm, and then the knife will sit on there, something like that. So let's go ahead and get some ideas sketched out. I'm going to use this smaller piece of leather here as the cover for the knife, or the actual sheath part of the knife, I guess I should say. And I'll wet mold this when I'm done, but let's get through all the fiddly bits here of sketching out the design and making everything exactly the way that I want to. And there we go. I've got the basic shape. Everything should line up the way I want. It should fit nicely. I think this is going to work. Let's go ahead and get this cut out. I know what you're thinking, all that work just for this little tiny shape here. But the idea here is I'm going to be doing a twin line of stitching on this, so I want to make sure I've got plenty of clearance. And then I'm also going to be wet molding this, like I said. So I have to make sure everything seals around it just right. So that's the reason I had to get all those little details right and all my measurements correct. So while the sheath wet molds, got a couple of the little items I'm going to be adding on to this bracer here. These pieces on the side, or a little bit thicker leather. And my basic idea is to double up on the side so that when I punch the holes, they won't pull through. I won't have any weak spots and I won't have any binding or bowing on the leather itself. I know that last scene that I showed, I showed the knife the other direction, but this is actually the proper orientation for how the knife is gonna be on this bracer. So there you go, these align the edges. I think this is gonna work. Let's go ahead and get these glued on and holes punched out. So I used basic contact cement to seal those two edges onto the bracer. Here we have the wet molded part of the sheath. That turned out pretty good, I think. That sat overnight. And we'll have the knife. It's gonna sit in there just like that. So there we go. So basically, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do a little bit of tooling here on the inside of this, kick up the design a little bit, and then set all my stitch lines, see how it turns out. But before going any further, this is kind of the idea I've got for the retention for this knife. I want something that's going to hold it in place, but also make it easy to remove. So this is kind of what I've come up with for now. The two little side straps there will be permanently sewed on, but that cross strap, I'm thinking that I'm going to actually not sew it at all, or at the absolute most, obviously, just sew it on one side. We'll see. So here we are at the last step before getting this thing under dye. I've done a little bit of tooling there. You can see the leather is still a little damp in those areas. The areas that are lighter did not get any tooling. I went ahead and cut in around the edges with a, uh, with a groover to kind of make separate areas real distinct. And you might be able to see that I've already set the stitch lines on both the sheath itself and down both sides where those lacing holes are. I've got everything under dye now. I'm using a mahogany dye. I applied that with the airbrush system that I have that you may or may not have seen in another video. I think it looks pretty good. That mahogany really pops and it's actually gonna fade up just a little bit. That might be one of my new favorite colors. And here you can get a much better look at the stitch lines that I've applied. As I talked about earlier, that's going to be a twin stitch line there along the blade and then along the edge of the sheath. You can see how I transferred that to this part. And you should be able to see those distinct stitch lines down the lacing edges. And that's it. Here's the finished product. We'll take a couple quick close-up looks at it here. Everything came together real nice. I attached those vertical strap pieces with just some basic stitching. 
you can see how I laid the cross strap, the retention strap, through there. That's holding very nicely. That does not need to be stitched in place, but we'll see over time whether or not I decide to change that. The stitching down the edges there where the lacing is going to go through turned out very clean. Using that white wax thread was a good call, I think. You can see here where the tooling is, just some basic background texture. And this is basically what it's going to look like, kind of wrapped around an arm. That's kind of what the presentation is going to be. Figure out a way to get that cross strap fold in or bend in a little bit closer. Down this side here where the lacing is, I'm going to probably use some type of elastic if I can find something around here. I like elastic on something like this. That's going to be used a lot because it's easy to take on and take off. But if you're going to use this for like a costume or cosplay or something like that, you might want to go with an actual leather lacing just to make it look a lot cleaner and a lot more period or official, so to speak. Overall, though, I think it turned out pretty nice. Let's do a couple more shots. Here we have the front of the knife sheath bracer. I found some rounded elastic. Looks really nice. Gray really pops against that mahogany. Side profile. Side profile. And this is kind of what it looks like on my arm. Still working on that tab back there. Here's another view. This thing's really comfortable. It goes on really easy with that elastic. I'm, I'm glad I went with that instead of a leather lacing, at least for right now. But I did promise you that this video was going to include a secret about this thing. So here it is. I've got my Garrett metal detector here, pin pointer. And as you can hear, it's going off when placed close to my ring. But got no sound here up on my arm. And again, on my ring it sounds. But I've had this on the entire time. I think the idea of using this Zytel knife along with a leather sheath with no metal embellishments is kind of interesting. If you find that interesting for any reason whatsoever, hey, feel free to consider giving me that thumbs up like. You can follow us on Instagram and see what projects don't make it to video. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.